Hey guys, today's video is going to be a very quick and easy pool day tutorial. If you're anything like me, I like to go to the pool looking like I already have a little bit of a glow, not like I just walked out of bed. So this is a very easy look. And also I wanted to ask you guys to leave some comments down below, giving me some inspiration for some makeup looks you want to see, or maybe you want to see a skincare routine or something more on the skin side. Just let me know and I will get that up for you guys very soon. Keep watching if you want to see how I achieve this look and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, so to start this look, I'm taking this Tinted Beauty Balm from Too Faced. This is just a little sample that I had. And you don't need a full coverage foundation when you're going to the pool, but I like to have a little bit of a BB cream on just to even out the skin tone. And this has SPF 20 also, so it's going to help protect my skin from the sun. And I'm applying this with my damp beauty blender, but just in a second I decided to go use my fingers because this wasn't just, it wasn't applying it the way that I wanted it to. Sometimes your fingers are the best tools. Also, I do already have my eyebrows filled in. I fill them in every day, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, pretty much. But um, if you want to see my tutorial on that, I can link it down below for you guys. Now I'm going in with a little bit of concealer, just to conceal any redness I have. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige and my Maybelline Fit Me in Light. The Pro Concealer is a little bit more of a orangey undertone and that really helps conceal that redness. And then the lighter Maybelline one just highlights a little bit. And now we're just buffing this out with our damp beauty blender. Now I'm taking this liquid illuminator by NARS in the shade Orgasm. It's a highlighter slash blush and I like to just pop that on the apples of my cheeks and maybe on my forehead a little bit and it just gives a really pretty light wash of color. And I'm um, blending this out with my damp beauty blender as well. Any kind of cream product, if you use a damp beauty blender, it's just going to make it very seamless and keep it kind of dewy and fresh looking. Now I'm going to set everything, I have to set my concealer at least so it doesn't crease and get all gooey under my eyes. So I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Setting Powder for this and a e.l.f. brush, I believe this is the Tapered Highlighting Brush. I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip balm. This is the Vaseline Rosy Lips. It's a perfect um, light wash of color and keeps my lips nice and hydrated. Now I'm just going to give my lashes a quick curl because mine are straight as a board. And then we're going to go in with just a little bit of mascara. If you want to use waterproof, feel free to do that, but I knew I wasn't going to be getting wet, so I didn't need a waterproof.
Now I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter just to give us that extra glow in the sun. And I'm sorry, I dropped it. Um, this is the Sephora highlighter in Stardust, I believe. And I just apply this with my tapered highlighting brush as well. And I'm just putting it on the um, tops of my cheeks, my nose, and even my shoulders. I recently saw this trick um, on one of Jaclyn Hill's videos. She's one of my favorite YouTubers here. And I thought, that is so genius. Make your whole body glow while you're at it. And that is how you achieve a very simple pull day look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!